Okay, one of Wrigley's issues is he likes to get in the trash. So one of the things that I will do, and we're going to do this, I'm going to have you, you can pull the trash out of that thing, right? I'm not going to have you do it yet. But what I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'd like to have you pull it out, put it about in the middle of the floor about here, and, I'm going to, and will it stand by itself? Uh, the bag? The, oh, it's just a bag? Yeah. Okay. Maybe you can put, like, lean it up against the counter here. Okay. And then I'm going to have you walk over and sit down on the chair at the, on the chair over there. Now, we're going to ask him to respect a five-foot boundary around it. Can I move this? Yeah. Um, we'll use this to block it from right here. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and grab it. And just because he wants something doesn't mean he gets it. So, oh, that yeah, that's what I meant. The whole container. Oh, okay. That way you don't have to rebag. And just put it right in the middle of the floor. Now turn and face him. Up. Oh. Maverick or Wrigley. Okay. Now now start walking. Uh, let's actually let's let's make it easy. Let's take a couple of these, let him sniff them, and then put it just right on top of the poopy diaper. Now get in between him and the trash. There you go. And let, you're like a goalie. Perfect. So you're gonna, once you establish five feet, oh, he sat down. So take a step to your left, but keep your hips, no, just, I'm gonna put you back at that seat uh, in front of you. But just take one step at a time, take another step, and then grab a seat. Now, if he starts to get up, you're gonna hiss and get in between him and the trash can. Now you can see he's looking at the trash can. Perfect. See how easy that was? There we go, now grab a seat again. So as soon as he sits down, he's telling you, I understand. Now what happens is a lot of times we do what you're doing. We buy a trash can that has a lid on it or we put a baby gate so he can't get up to the uh, trash upstairs because you know he just we can't stop him. What I would have you do instead is practice. Like next time you make a roast or something that has a really strong aroma, preferably without the kids crying so that he can focus on this because he's distracted with this, but you can tell he's still interested. So we want to load it up. There are no entrapment laws for dogs. So what I like to do is set them up. So put this in the middle of the, uh, middle of the floor, put a, a, a roast rump or something like that that has a tremendous smell, and then sit down nearby and just watch. Now, a lot of times what I do, your living room's a little bit uh, uh, cozy, um, but a lot of times what I do is I put the trash between me and the TV, and then I sit down and watch TV. If the dog sniffs and gets within five feet, I hiss, or if I have to, I stand up, and if I have to, I get between him and march him away. And then I keep on doing that. So what we're able to do is every time he probes and comes close to the trash can and we disagree, we're communicating this is to be left alone. Sorry. No, that's fine. <laughs> but this is a perfect example. Life happens. You get distracted. So you only want to do this at times. There you go. So he's coming around the mountain. So beat him to the punch. There you go. Perfect. So he turned around and you stopped. So now get back over there. And then grab a seat again. His, your job is not to stand there guarding the whole time. You, you disagree when he starts to break the rule, but his job is to be the one that follows the rules. So when you have time, when the kids are asleep and you have a couple minutes, pull this out, put something really stinky in there, make it very appealing, and then that way you can practice communicating this is to be left alone. Wrigley. So you can come to me. There you go. Perfect. So now, I would, now you followed him after he turned. So remember, as soon as he turns sideways, you stop and stand in place and keep your hips pointed at him. But this way, you can actually have a conversation and communicate, this is to be left alone, not you can't get in this because I'm going to put structure around it and a lid or a baby gate that prevents you from getting to it because that doesn't teach him anything. All right.